there's, you know, it keeps you guessing. This level is very sort of last stage of Contra, as you'll see. This guy's got heartburn up the ass. <laughs> Ow! Oh no! There we go. Yeah, those spikes are hurting you. And those appear to be just like colossal white blood cells. <laughs> This is like, um, V, 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 V. What? <laughs> the game, I probably said too many Vs. It's like five Vs. There was a lot of Vs. Yeah. V, 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 V. That's what it's called. What did that involve? Uh, it's like a, it's a, almost like a Atari-looking game where you just have to, you switch the gravity and you try to guide a guy through a, uh, a map like this. There's spikes all over the wall. I think I've played that. Ow. It's, intens now? it's intensely hard. Oh, but now we are fighting our way through a dragon's immune system, presumably. Colon, maybe? The, those, gel those gelatinous croutons there <laughs> that are part of his biology, I guess. And also, like I said, his, his leukocytes are the size of a human being, so... <laughs> maybe he, oh, no! he's got high cholesterol and you're, like, helping him out. I, was, I wonder if this is what I look like on the inside, is one of her, <laughs> like, stage-specific Game Over quotes here. Some of them they explode. Ow. Yeah, these are no real trick to them. These you just blast a path through. They're like square meatballs. They're <laughs> gonna leave that bottom level. Actually, how, this is roughly how the human immune system works as well. Viruses, they have to fight their way through the descending horde of flesh cubes. <laughs> descending horde of flesh cubes would be like a really good band name. <laughs> Bubble core. Notice these mysterious core type enemies. We don't know who they are or, you know, or who made them. Yeah, there's a core enemy in every game, or every level. Plot. That's kind of a plot. Descend descending horde of flesh cubes. <laughs> Ooh, I managed to hide in the corner there. Yeah, you want to shoot those orange, those little yellow bubbles, because if they last long enough, they will turn into the lasers. But if you shoot them, you can decrease the amount of firepower. I'd say the akimbo pistols might have been good here, but I was too stupid to do that. I don't know, Ow. you're facing your enemy most of the time. Well, I, I, I do okay at this game. <clears throat> oh! Now this looks like it falls somewhere in between an NES and a Super NES game. Yeah, graphics. Yeah, graphics style wise, you're right. It does. It, it looks too good. It does. It's a little too fancy to be. Yeah. Little... Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, obviously, in certain effects wise, it's too fancy to be 16 bit as well. In the style, yeah, it falls sort of between like NES and Super NES. Yeah, especially like the protagonist. That's no NES protagonist. She's got way too much detail. And the same, same with the boss. The boss you'd never see on an NES. Yeah. Oh yeah. A couple of the Contra bosses looked pretty um, detailed, but not, not a lot of them. Whoa, and you'd never see this on an NES. <laughs> or if you did, the screen would be slowed down and, you know, slowed down to slideshow. Yeah, crawl. Through the circulatory system we go. Yeah, I mean, I, I had no idea before this that, like, a dragon oh! sides were all one tunnel. Well, I think this this might just be, like, just sort of the, uh, the intestinal tract. Or possibly, we're, maybe we're in the stomach, we're approaching the stomach now. I, I don't know dragon biology. No, me neither. <laughs> if this is the intestine, where are we working our way to? Well, the final boss is actually the heart. Oh, okay. You know, again, sort of very Contra-esque. 
I don't know, maybe we, we took a like a turn in the, into a capillary somewhere to escape the digestive tract. Now we're making our way through his chest. The dragon is flying around, feels the slight like heartburn sensation. He's wondering what that is. Do we ever get to see the the whole dragon or no? No. Well, we <laughs> see him from an extreme distance in a cutscene. Oh, okay. As he plummets from the sky. This <laughs> has a heart attack. You are essentially a meal that really didn't agree with him. <laughs> It's like that time I drank like several gallons of Guinness when I already kind of had the flu, and I then I tried to play, then I tried to play Half Life on the Xbox, and the 3D camera made me throw up. <laughs> that really happened. I'm not making that actually happened. That's hilarious. The 3D camera made you throw up. Well, I was in a vulnerable state. I mean. Yeah, that's true. A vulnerable state you put yourself in. You drank your way into that. Oh, what? Yeah, blame the victim. <laughs> So you're shooting his blood cells right there. Yeah, pretty much. So you're like maybe he'll maybe he'll die of anemia. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You're essentially giving him anemia. <laughs> okay, dragon heart, heroic organ. Now here's a place where the akimbo guns come in handy. You know, because you want you know you want to be able to hit both of those walls at once. There's a lot of fire coming in at you from. I'm not sure what those organs are around the heart. I don't think human hearts have, are surrounded by defensive turrets. Cannons? No, you don't have the cannons? I, I have three. I, I donated one. Oh, okay. Yeah. On my driver's license, I'm an organ donor. So, yeah. All right. Here I remember. Oh, yeah, the akimbo guns are good. <laughs> but it'll be too little too late, as we'll see. I had no idea dragon's hearts look so much like brains. Oh, yeah, they do kind of. It's, 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 it's a multi-purpose organ. They're, they're, oh, no! <laughs> it would make sense to put the organ you can defend with four cannons to have it. Yeah, that's place. true. You want to put as many essential functions around your gun emplacements as you can. Exactly. Just good economics. Can you destroy those cannons? I don't know. I don't think so. I never have. It. Yeah. Fires mucus at you. Orange ones that fire the big blast of bullets. Yeah, if you can kill those guns, I've never done. Although, although to be fair, I've never really tried. So. Jeez, they do not make it easy on you. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of crap flying at you in this battle, but that's what your slow mo is for. Yeah, there you go. Nice. <laughs> I'd love to see the dragon just take like a Pepsid that comes in and <laughs> kicks your ass like a secret boss. I've almost got him, but he's almost got me too. Yes! Oh no! Nice. It's the big one, Elizabeth! I'm coming! <laughs> I'm a coming Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, that's a dated reference. <laughs> that shows how old that we was, are. That was actually that was dated when I was a child. I mean, that was like <laughs> exactly. But you probably saw it on Nick at Night, like me. <laughs> All right, victory. Well, you you lose point zero five multiplier for each death, as you can see there. Okay. All right. All right, check this out. And so, as the beast tumbles through the sky, the last of your heroes is no more. The wheat has been cut from the chaff. The world has a new hero. A true hero. <laughs> Me! Remember this guy? Who's that dude? Wait! Hey! I'm the one who killed the dragon! It was me! The Bubble Core and I have defeated your best! I will broadcast my induction into the Hall of Heroes tonight. So the world could properly celebrate its true hero. He's stealing your thunder. <laughs> Who was that? 
How could everyone believe him? I'm the hero! Me! <laughs> that look on her face is awesome. <laughs> remember remember the, the intro video and how it seemed to have nothing to do with it? Oh, oh, the idiot! A mysterious young man who rose from a nobody to the greatest hero of all time, seemingly overnight. Using his self-made death machines called the Cores, he claims to have defeated the world's greatest champions and will be the first inductee to the Hall of Heroes in over a hundred years. So this dude is stealing our thunder. Yeah, guy's a shitty. He looks like uh, the guy from Ratchet and Clank. And it, and Rin is going to solve this problem the way she solves all her problems via murder. Obviously. And remember that? Yeah, as I said, he was in the opening v intro video. Ah, oh, that through was the him. Fight through the Hall of Heroes and take out that blonde idiot to claim your title. 